Welcome, everyone. I'm Richard Kessler, Dean of Manus, and on behalf of everyone at the New School, including our partners at Parsons and everyone at Manus, everyone at the university, I'd like to welcome you to this event today, Reinventing Orchestral Garments, a, a prototyping. As many of you know, this is an ongoing project, something we're very, very excited about, between the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra, Parsons School of Design, and Manus College, the new school for music. What could be better than to think about how you can reinvent the clothing that musicians wear, the form, the function, take a look eventually at issues related to wearable technology, make the clothes more comfortable, make the clothes look better, and think of the clothing in ways that we never have before. Make them something that becomes an artist, part of the artistic palette. And this is the project that we're involved in today. So we have, uh, really my job is just simply to welcome you today and to move on to the next person, because who wants to hear me talk when you can see the wonderful work that our students are gonna bring to you today. So what I'd like to do next is to welcome one of our partners in garment crime, and that would be Marin Alsop, one of our favorite musicians, the music director, conductor of the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra, the person who's really been one of the key figures behind this project, who's brought wonderful vision, and also the sort of hands-on perspective to this project that very, very few music directors would ever bring. Um, so if you'll all join me right now in welcoming Marin Alsop to the podium. Please, Marin. Well, thank you, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here today, and uh, we're so excited. This project has been uh, a couple years in the making. Um, originally, I, I phoned uh, Joel Towers and uh, talked to him about the idea of redesigning not just the clothing, but the entire symphony orchestra, so we're still in phase one um, of just uh, working on the clothing, but that seemed the most obvious place to start because our musicians who are innovators every day still wearing the same clothing that they wore 200 years ago. I mean, not literally, but uh, some of them maybe. Um, and uh, so this has been a wonderful um, journey really with the students to explore what the possibilities are, um, staying in a conservative bend or looking as we're hoping today to a little more cutting edge approach to what um, the musicians will wear. I wanna thank um, everyone uh, involved in the project, especially Joel, Tower, Joel um, for for helping uh, make this a reality. Um, it's great to work with the students at Manus as well. And we look forward to this being just the first in a, a very long uh, collaboration toward really the redesign of the symphony orchestra, especially in America where we can be innovative and we have the tools to involve as many people as possible in the creative process. So uh, without further ado, let me uh, pass everything over to Joel and say thank you again, Joel. True, Marin called me and said we got a lot of work to do a few years, a couple years ago, uh, and it was actually our mutual friend and um, and supporter Tomi Otaki, who was the the third in that triangle who brought the two of us together, and I really want to thank him as well for getting this started. Um, and really, uh, my job today is to invite you all to a public review. Uh, we are not at the end of the semester yet. In fact, as I understand it, they're still sewing backstage. Um, and that's good for the stage we're in, which is the prototype. Uh, we will be completing these works by the end of the semester, um, this next iteration. Uh, the work, of course, always continues to evolve. But we're really hoping that you will give us feedback today, that you will engage in this conversation and presentation uh, in the true spirit of a design studio, which is driven by the public review the, re the uh, receiving of information and feedback and going back and iterating again and again um, and continuing to strive to reach a level of excellence in the work that is responsive both to the players, to the context, uh, and to the challenge of uh, reinventing the orchestra. So this is phase one and in a particular space, but it is a much larger project. And it took on a level of um, reality and complexity consistent with the new school when Richard Kessler um, b 
became very involved uh, from the Manus College of Music, working in collaboration with uh, Allison Mears in the School of Design Strategies, two deans who were deeply committed to making sure that their curriculum and their students and the faculty were able to really push this project forward. Uh, and so I'm very deeply indebted to both of my colleagues for, uh, for that as well. We were also very fortunate that Gabby asked for um, the faculty member who is leading the project came on board a couple of years ago from the School of Fashion and also the School of Design Strategies, teaching in those two spaces to lead this project consistently over these last couple of years. And so um, Gabby will introduce uh, the students in the project. Uh, it's my job to introduce him. Uh, he's done amazing work here. Allison is going to make sure that he stops sewing or that the students do at this moment. Um, but uh, Again, as I, as I mentioned, this is, um, this is the design process in much the same way that the creative process in music and performance is constantly in that iterative and, and um, performative space. And so we're gonna need all of you to participate in doing that. So hopefully without further ado, as I look to the stage door, there's Gabby. Gabby asked for, thank you. This one or that one. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm very excited about this day. It's been a super interesting experience. Uh, just want to make it clear that this is a prototype presentation because this project has been a collaboration with the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra musicians uh, where we interviewed on a weekly basis to understand what's going on with the wardrobe and to figure out how we can update it. So it's a collaboration between us and the musicians. Um, I, we kind of uh, did this whole project um, by being as practical as possible. And we realized that most of it had to be repurposed. And uh, since uh, there was different sizes that we, we had to deal with, we had to buy clothing from available stores. So this project has been a really interesting shopping experience. Um, we had to really understand the market, what's best in the market, especially in terms of suits, uh, shirts, and dresses. Um, so we kind of took what's in the market and repurposed it. And it's been super interesting to do that. Um, <coughs> I'm gonna introduce the first look. Um, it's on Jesus. Uh, Jesus? Jesus. Uh, you can... So, I'll be brief. So, Jesus is wearing a repurposed blazer that we bought from Zara. Um, and we have the pants that we also bought from Zara. What we did for the blazer is we cut it. We cut it out and turned that into tails. So we took the fabric from the front, sorry. We took the fabric from the front, moved it to the back, and we minimized the collar. So we took away the collar because what we realized with the musicians that the collar was a problem and the tie was a problem. And we realized that to minimize the, the front was the best way to go about it. So the same thing with the, with the vest. This was done from scratch. Um, uh, we basically took the detail of the, the collar and moved it to the vest. So we, and then minimized the front so there's no buttons in the front. <coughs> And the shirt, uh, I guess you would, I don't want to open it, but I can take it off later. We moved the closure to the side, so the shirt closes like that, and it was following a Arabic half -tap. So we, we had to refer to a lot of traditional clothing from all over the world to, to really understand what needed to be done, so that the project is more believable. So the suit can play, and then I'll show you more details.
uh, for this look, well, I guess forget the mic. Okay, here's my voice. Um, this was based on a Mandarin uh, style jacket that we um, bought from, well, we bought this blazer from Zara also. And uh, with the same thing we did, for, we cut it. And as you see, moved all the, the fabric to the back. And we added, we replaced fabric on, on, on the torso and under the arm with a double knit jersey, which is very good for tailoring. And then we added a slit in the back. Uh, so when the musician plays, um, he has agility. So you have stretch here and you have stretch under here. Good. Um, okay, and for the vest, maybe you can take the shirt off. Okay, so here we kind of, we followed a Tibetan uh, shirt and moved the, the button to the side and also followed the Tibetan uh, closure and moved the vest to the side also. So here it becomes really clean and all your closure is on the side. Uh, yeah. And in the back for all the shirts for men, uh, we recycled uh, this fabric from Uniqlo. Um, it's called the Airism. That sucks the sweat uh, and, may, and is very breathable. People wear it under the, their shirts. So we have it on the sleeves and on the back for each shirt. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, this is the first uh, woman's look. Uh, I'll let you play. Play first. So for most of the musicians, especially the women, we realize that uh, there's a problem with, with the arms. And that most instruments have to deal with, the, with arm movement like that, either like this or like that. So we realized that we had to do something with giving this difference in the arms to make it to make the garment asymmetrical, so you have, so it goes with the movement of the instrument. And we also realized that we had to minimize what's happening on the shoulders without, uh, without too minimizing it. So, because the instrument usually needs to sit on the shoulder. A lot of instruments need to sit here. So we, we put mesh, as you will see, on most of the women's garments. This dress was, <coughs> um, Repurposed from, I think, a mango dress, probably. Yeah, so which we took apart completely. The reason why we, we have been getting these uh, mango Zara H&M dresses is because the sizes are, are correct and they're accu accurate to the modern um, fit. So if we buy a size 38, we know it's a size 38. And same thing for women. So this one was completely transformed. Uh, the only part that's left of it is here. And then we took this, the, the fabric from the front and it became the sleeve. And this whole part is all tailored cool wool. That is stretch, which we used a lot in women's uh, garments. And we added this satin 
insert for ease of movement. Let me show the back. Uh, so here. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so you see in the back, the stretch here, so she can really move. And this is all stretch. And here stretches too. So that when, when she's from the back, you will see a whole different feeling. See? Okay. Okay, this is look four. And this, she's a pianist, right? Um, here, uh, same thing with the asymmetry, but we did separates to show this is a separate skirt than the top. And for, for a lot of the skirts, we did a lot of layering. Sorry. Um, as you can see, there's many layers, and inside is mesh, so that she can breathe also. But everything is covered when she sits. Um, what else can I say about this? <laughs> Let's turn. Um, here, there's stretch back here, a jersey, and here's jersey also. So we, the idea is that you can mix a really expensive fabric, and then you put something that is very high-tech, athletic, so that she can really move where she needs to move. Here, the movement is in the elbow, mainly. And the other sleeve is all mesh, so that moves also. So again, the asymmetric feeling um, no, it's fine. <laughs> um, and, and again, this can be mixed with, with pants or the skirt can be mixed with something else. So this is the beginning of our separates. We didn't do too many separates, but there will be more coming. Thank you. I guess look number five. Yeah. Yeah. You can play. On the side, just to show you a front. Yeah. Okay, so uh, again, asymmetry and <coughs> a challenge of having, um, <laughs> having something that fits everybody. This is what I, I really love about this project is that we can actually have different sizes, different lengths, fit different things. So, this is a good example of that. And you can see. Um, the asymmetry is going this way, so it's like a yin and yang effect. Can you show the back? Uh, sorry about the stitching. Again, yin and yang effect. And this is a stretch satin. And underneath the arm, if you see, I don't know if you can see, there's mesh here, mesh insert. And here again, another mesh insert. So she can really move. And then the sleeve is really fitted. This is not as stretchy as that, but uh, the idea is that you can actually put a non-stretchy fabric and put the mesh insert, and that will give the, will allow more movement. Cool. Thank you. I guess the men's look, yeah, look number six. Huh. 
the other musician didn't come, so he's a singer. <laughs> but beautiful, right? Okay. So this is another repurposed jacket. Um, by the way, we, we had to kind of also do a lot of research uh, from fashion. And what we learned for men is that some designers have mastered certain things. Um, for example, Junya Watanabe uh, has mastered a lot of uh, uh, tailoring that is anatomic and is constructed where it allowed us to refer to him to use different fabrics. This is a good example of that. We also referred to Yoshi Yamamoto for um, uh, combining the vest with the shirt and with the tie, where you see a lot of that. I mean, this is a good example of it, because we kind of put the tie onto the shirt, and it's snapped on, so you can take it off to wash it. And then the vest is part of the shirt. And we realized that having the vest as part of the shirt is better than having it as part of the jacket because you, you could attach it to the back and the jersey will stretch it to the back and then you have a really fitted look in the front. But then when, when the musician moves, it's really comfortable. Um, I'll, I'll take it off in a second. Can you turn? Okay, this... So you can see an, another repurposed jacket where we took the same thing. We took the, the collar off and we, we used other fabrics to give different seaming to, you know, to highlight the anatomic uh, uh, movements of the body. And again, there's a mesh in the back. So he can move. And this one has also double knit on the sides. on the sides and on the underarm. Here we mixed a lot of fabrics together. It was a nice experiment. It's just an example that you can do that. And let's try to take this. Sorry, I'm helping. I'm by myself. <laughs> okay, it's not finished as you can see, but I just wanna show you how it works. Um, so this is, will be buttoned to the shirt, and here is buttoned to the shirt, and then the tie is snapped to the, to the shirt, so we can wash the shirt by itself. So you can take everything off and wash it. And for the pants, oh no, he's not wearing those. I'll show you in the next one for the pants what we did. Um, okay. Sorry, I haven't slept, so I'm a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right. Jesus again. Go ahead. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm happy this is the last look because the tails is actually the regular tails. And here is an example of how you can use the regular lapel. So we kept it. And you can minimize the front completely. So we completely eliminated everything from here. And we, you only see a little bit of the pleats. So to have the pleats still there and you have the tie, completely minimal, and the closure to the side. Actually, it's here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, show the underarm. Mm -hmm. Again, stretch, one, and then stretch, two, to the front. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to show you, I guess, are you wearing the pants? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I can do it. Uh -huh. 
Here's another example of a tailored shirt that had anatomic seaming. Um, but you can see, again, here will be buttons, and here will be also sorry, buttons, and here as well, buttons. I'm happy all the snaps are showing, so you guys know that this is a prototype presentation. <laughs> um, also, in the, on the back of the pants, this is a, a good example of what we did. We replaced the top piece here with uh, jersey, and there's elastic in the front, so the pant can be really fitted in the front. And when the, when the musician sits, they can breathe, and they can also um, feel, they can feel comfortable also. So, Jesus says... Yeah, it's like pyjama, like, sport clothing is so comfortable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, I guess, look number eight. This was meant for, uh, for viola or for harp, but she's going to perform with the... I mean, it works for everything, but it was mainly designed for viola or harp. Very simple. This one was a repurposed jumpsuit from, I think, H&M or somewhere. Yeah. Uh, where we, we simply did a few things. Added an insert here. Can you turn? Added an insert here for e ease of movement so the leg is bigger. And, and then we added this whole extra piece that came from another dress from, from I don't know where anymore. <laughs> um, and then we, we just made these sleeves and attached them in. So it's, it's kind of interesting because you, with a very simple movement, you can do a lot. That's, that's what this example is about. Maybe you can sit and show them. Um, I just want to show you when the legs are open because it looks very nice. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Okay, thank you. I guess that's look number nine. Wait. Okay, it's another repurposed dress. Um, this was a mini dress, it was still here. Um, and it comes from Mango, I think? No, Zara. <laughs> um, so with, for this one, we, bought, we got a vintage blazer and stitched it to the back. And this is meant to be for a pianist. And then for the fab from the fabric of the dress, we got the length, and then we added this, which is a stretch satin. So she can, when she sits on the piano, she can have her legs free. And then we added mesh sleeves and mesh back. Good. Thank you. Look number 10. Here's another example of separates, uh, where we took a shirt. Uh, this is a sh shirting detail. You can took a shirt, cut it in half, uh, added a sleeve to it, and took the other sleeve out and put jersey. And so we get this kind of asymmetric feeling, and then a cascading skirt to give more of the layering feeling. Um, I guess this would be for, you know, violin or something, like a flute. Okay, good. Uh, 
Uh, uh, last look. This is a Hakama type of pant, uh, super large at the bottom, but looks like a skirt. So when you sit, you can really open the legs and have a lot of freedom. Just quickly, this was a skirt. This we put on top of it, and this we made from scratch, following a runway look. So, and that's the last look. I would like to. I'd like to introduce the students. I hope they. Let me see. <laughs> Um, so we divided the class into a few sections. We had the menswear designers, um, then we had women's wear designers. I was lucky enough to have uh, an even amount for both. And then we had a manager, photographer, and web people. Yes, <laughs> quite. Uh, a lot of you guys. And I'll go quickly introduce uh, Nina. Come to the front. Women's wear. Uh, Kate, women's wear. Eva, women's wear. <laughs> Maria, research plus men's wear. Yuji, women's wear. Um, <coughs> Lola, women's wear. Joseph, men's wear. Chingyi, men's wear. And Ju Young, men's wear. And Natalia, manager, <laughs> and, and the musicians, I guess I don't remember all your names, but, uh, um, oh, there's Philip over there. Philip is menswear and also web design. Um, et voila. I hope it was not boring. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, well, I, I'll get the students and then yeah. we can do it. The, um, the mic is. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Come out again. All of us? Yeah, musicians in the back and me students. Come out again. Musicians in the back and students in the front. I guess let's have the women's wear together, men's wear together. Stay with Maria. You're with the women's wear. <laughs> okay. You guys stay together, yeah. Okay. Uh, women's. Because you did men's. Uh, this is Sarah, Sarah, who worked on men's uh, suit mainly, and also on women's wear. 
So. Do we need the mic? Yeah. I mean, How are you? I'm. I'm happy. Well done. Thank you. I can. Uh, well done, everyone. Really beautiful work. I think it's. I think it's great, and uh, we're so excited to have you all involved in this project. It's. It's really a thrill. Um, I think the from just my perspective, I'll say that I, th I like the the cutting edge of the menswear now. Um, it, it seemed to really evolve mm -hmm. a lot, and uh, but yet you retain the um, tradition and the I think the elegance of it, which is fantastic. Um, so maybe I'll I'll open it up so mm -hmm. that if the um, our gentlemen, especially from the BSO, want to have any comments on those things, and for the women's. Um, looks i i think they're very cool i i think uh, i'd also like to open it up you know one question i have i guess and and maybe that's just a design question is you know for women that need to wear bras how do they how does that work with the um all the see through stuff you um, know yeah. how well there's different the not that you don't need to but uh, uh you know i'm well, no, i'm whatever i say is going to be the wrong thing i can tell so no uh, no no it's good because that's that's a big issue also we had to deal with but there's a lot of strapless bras uh -huh. um, and there's also nude bras. So the thing is we didn't make the black too see-through. So you can wear a nude bra and it will not bother. Okay. Um, but uh, I mean the idea it would be to make an effort and wear a, a strapless bra, right. I think. Okay. It's, but there's a lot of looks that don't need. Yeah. yeah. No, it's really beautiful. Do you, do you have any comments you guys you want to... Uh yeah. Please, yeah. They're a little scared. But. Um, I, uh, hello. This is Darius, who's a, a cellist. Um, so. I uh, I really like the all the designs and the, especially like you said, it's a combination of new and and traditional um, looks. Uh, I had a question about the men's. Yeah. Is it how how much time consuming would it be to put it on and take it off? Uh, it's actually super easy. It's With some of the shirts, you can just slip on because it's almost like a t-shirt. So you just slip on and you button it. Okay. Yeah, I, I would love to show you guys more when it's really finished, but right. since they're prototypes, this is the best we could do. But I'd love to, maybe if you would like to see, uh, uh, we can open the vest and you can really see how, how it is. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who wants to be disrobed, but. <laughs> <laughs> A volunteer, yeah. Oh, oh no, I see. This one is stitched in. Oh. Um, maybe Cor Corey's is, right. Corey's is not. Is, are you safety pin? Um, yes, button. your safety pin. Okay. okay. You know, and this, the, this pattern really, uh, this reads well, doesn't beautiful. it? On stage it looks really elegant too. Come into that the light. Come into the light. Because it's <laughs> hard to see. Here, I'll hold the mic. Sorry. Oh, look. Yeah. Yeah, it's very breathable. Yeah, so it looks see. really comfortable. Mm -hmm. What kind of snaps we have here? Safety pins. They'll eventually be buttons. Is that what this? Yes, uh, yes. So these will eventually be buttons on here. This is how here. they do it in, in fashion shows. To yes, hide no, everything. I know. I, I watch Project <laughs> Runway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To hide everything. So it works. It does. Aaron? Aaron? Yes? <laughs> will you need an assistant to unbutton those? No, no. Okay. They, they're going to be. <laughs> No, 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 no. It'll yeah, eventually be... Uh, control. Okay. You see this shirt? Uh, this shirt ha is closed right here. So you slip it on, and all you have to do is button and button. So it's almost like a, a polo shirt. Mm -hmm. So you just have to button here and there. And it's super stretchy, so it can, it's kind of like a pajama almost. Mm -hmm. and, and then at the neck, you just do that yeah, one I can, button. Yeah, let's open it. And then you'll just button the vest on. Is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this will have, will have buttonholes here, uh -huh. so you can remove it. I see. Yeah. So you can wash it. Yeah, you can wash this separate from that, and it's super easy. Once you have it on, it it will hold by itself. I, I mean, I can show you guys more in detail, because there's a lot of detail. So it's it's kind of, I'm very happy to explain more. Yeah. No, that looks that looks great. And you see, and like uh, the whole shirt becomes very different. It's like a whole other classic shirt. The thing is, we kept the pleats, yeah, so yeah, you have them here nice. and there. But this is really following a Tibetan closure. 
because we, we didn't feel like we could just create something from scratch for this. Because they had to have like uh, thousands of years of, of re experience, yeah. tradition, because otherwise it's not traditional, right. Right? right? No, it looks beautiful. And then the shirt is washable? Yes. And then the, everything else you dry clean? Yeah. yeah, some of the vests are also washable, but you can dry clean. Cool. And you see the vest also, we minimized. Yeah. See, the, the back is, is really free, so you just button it. So you, you don't really sweat in it, that's the main thing with the vest. What does the other side look like of the vest? On the other side, turn to your other side, yeah. It's buttons. Oh, okay, right. yeah. Yeah. I mean, we did, the, the, the whole beautiful. idea is to have... It's very, it's stretchy, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels like... Yeah, you're, you're nothing, right. yeah. I mean, the material is so light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be nice. That's neat. And what about um, the women's... Uh, any, maybe we could look at, um, yeah. which, you know, I think more women, do. am I right in more women wear pants in the orchestra than dresses? So yes, uh, Ching, yeah, Ching is our principal uh, second violinist. Yeah. Uh -huh. This, maybe, can you come uh -huh. out here? Yeah, I like this too with the, um, is um, this the one, Ching? It's sexy, it's elegant, but uh -huh. it's classic. Oh, yeah, it's classic too. I think yeah. because of the oh. pleating too, this element, it's it's got yeah. a real uh, classic quality to it, isn't it? It's yeah. beautiful. It is. It's comfortable? Look. It's pants, yeah. Yeah. Is it one piece or is this a, it's one piece, you just pull it up and zip yeah, it? Yeah, you zip in the back. Okay. But uh, we, w we would like to do also uh, men's, uh, women's suits yeah. that are really tailored with a short jacket. We just didn't have time. Right. But we will do that for sure. And add the inserts here so, right. so it, they can move as well. I think I showed you one of my designer uh -huh. did. It's basically men's um, ta uh, tail yeah. uh, with a sheer uh, sleeves. Exactly. Yeah. So you have the same sheer sleeve, but just looks like men's jacket. And you can wear dressy pants, whatever you do. But this is beautiful. There is something like this we just did. But we, we didn't have enough time to, to show no, it. It's great. But there will be that for sure. And, and there will I also, be at I also like the other girl next to her, the back. That's beautiful. That's uh -huh. gorgeous, yeah. Yeah, you, is that the is that the backward jacket? Wait, yeah. where are you? <laughs> we like you too. Let's see, turn around for a second. That's yeah, beautiful. that's that's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. And how is that? Is that comfortable? Uh, oh, see, I see. So this doesn't even come to play because that's all moving. Yeah. Yeah, everything moves, and uh, and this is stretched too. The this part is stretched as well. Ah, I see. Oh, look, and you have a nice pocket back here, just in yeah. case you need something. Yeah, there you go. You never know. Yeah. Cigarette. I like those extra pockets. Yeah, that's very cool. Thank Thanks. No, they all look great. I like this one too. The that you were wearing. Yeah, yeah that's come. Why don't you come forward too? This beautiful. I think something about the pleating to me is really elegant. Um, for yeah, we we did a lot of pleating because because it allows stretch also. Yeah. But when you have anything pleated, you can move easily. It's almost like stretch fabric. That's great. And um, did you want to see those pa the pants? You know that the who had the pants? I think it was yeah with the stretch. Is uh -huh. that is that really comfortable? Yeah, I mean, has if you have to if you can if you have to actually see it, yeah. it really expands and. Um, I mean, I can see it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just yeah, no, it doesn't feel strange, though. At all, at all. Yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. It, it actually, you know, and it like, looks really, it looks very fitted, though, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, but the, the, the idea is to not have any belt loops here. So there is some here, but we'll take them out. So you have, like, a really clean waistband. So nothing is here, also. Like, nothing is in the way. And it's really stretched, so you don't wear a belt or anything. Then the, the, the elastic will hold the pant, and then it will stretch as you breathe. Yeah. So and it, it works no for different things. So yeah. Like. Yeah. Do you have the three gentlemen sit down, facing up? Yeah. yeah uh, well, you, uh, maybe, I kind of, I undressed Corey. <laughs> what happens with the vest when you sit down? Yeah, yeah. That's... Right. See... Do you feel anything there, or is it, is it, is it, it pointing up, or it's okay? It should be more fitted now, because it's yeah, yeah. an example of that. Using, you know, using cummerbats, that's really uncomfortable, and it's extremely yeah. ugly. Yeah, and this one just makes, like,
Oh, yeah, putting them back together there. Yeah. Somehow I worry that if they're long. Yeah. See, that oh, that looks, that that looks good. That doesn't feel. I, I was really thinking yes. about it. Usually the vest has two points. So when you sit, it opens. It opens. Right. But this looks more elegant. Good to me. Yeah, that looks no. nice. And th this looks more elegant. Oh, because that it really minimizes. The thing is that the line here, the, the curve, like is really, really curve. tricky. Yeah. And it has to be tailored on the person. Right. So these are not perfectly tailored on, well, actually... Which one? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a matter of heightening the, the pant. Because it doesn't budge. But these up. pants are not so high. So if you have a higher pant, we can have a higher vest. So that's... that's the Exactly. Yeah. You know, but, but just the, the doesn't this the pattern though read really pr beautiful? I think that I mean. Yeah. Whoops! <laughs> Are you falling There's apart? A, a button <laughs> falling down. It's falling apart. Yeah, but this. I Thank God, this is a prototype presentation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love the material. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lovely look because it strikes the audience very Yeah, it really reads. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, <and> that, <laughs> yeah. sin, since you're talking about this, this is a question for you guys. Is this acceptable, this fabric for a vest? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because, because these are be the fun. questions we have. We didn't want to take a risk, but these are questions that we, we can push this because further. It's off -white? We, because it's an off-white or because, because of the pattern? Because it's this, this flower oh. pattern. Oh, yeah, we love, we love that. Yeah, see, that's oh, where it, it can get yeah. a bit tricky with with things like this, but yeah. there's a lot of these oh. fabrics. What's on them? So if, if like a flowery pattern is acceptable, yeah. then we can go further with this. Yeah. Yeah, that's why this is very successful, the geometric. Yes, because this has a reference to it's comes from an old, old tradition of Japanese kimono wedding uh, wrapping, elegant. which is, the m for me, it's the most elegant that I've seen. Yeah, yeah. And it also refers back to scarf, because that's how you wear your scarf. So it automatically your head refers to something that you recognize. Mm -hmm. These are less recognizable because they come from, uh, from Asia. It's Tibet and Mongolia. But it they're really like European, this. European, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looks like royalty. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, what I, this I was, was just tearing it off a little bit. I didn't. With snaps. We're not sure. I, I sort of I'm tore it off a little bit. No, here. you Sorry. can take it. Yeah, no, no, this cool. small snaps. You see, do you see the snaps, you guys? Are they snaps? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you this, just snap it this off. comes off. You can just pull it off. So you can wash it also. You can. It's, back on. Sorry, I don't think it's okay. It's, it's, it's very delicate, yeah. Or you can do buttons, small buttons. Right, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I love that my men are getting undressed <laughs> as we go. That's great. And maybe, maybe the women can step forward and we'll have... A, can we look at all the women looks? Thank you, gentlemen. I'm sorry about your tie, <laughs> Zach. Maybe all the women, women and your looks come forward and then we can just see if there are any comments on those. This is so interesting. I have to say this... Um, up close, this yeah. is m this is more appealing to me than from a distance. Yeah, but okay. maybe because it's not tailored a yeah. lot. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I mean, we we wanted to have something more loose and something more fitted. See, so right? You can have the variety of of different body types. Uh huh. So you can have something loose and make this the arms fitted. Right. But by adding layering, then you have a lot of interest in the body. Mm hmm. Because it, not everything has to be tight like that. Right, right. And maybe turn everybody turn around if you don't mind so they can see the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that? It's gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Um, not to harp on the bra thing, but I think that most women in an orchestra are not going to wear a strapless bra. Um, they're just not going to. And if you're a wind player... Strapless bras tend to be tighter, so they'll stay up. So then you can't breathe. Uh, Just to think about, I mean, the sh it's beautiful. The sheer is beautiful, and off the shoulder is beautiful, but I think it would be 
not very many people would be able to. I definitely will adjust accordingly. Yeah, maybe there's that's why you guys, you know, we need you guys to like tell us. You know, so we c we c still have a month yeah. to fix I a think few that's things. Be so we'll, we will consider that and do the adjustments. Yeah, same thing. I think, but you can wear a bra with that. I think this would have to have some solid piece there. And, um, right, the sheer arms, good. though, are gorgeous. And that yeah, they are beautiful. The problem. It's just when it's right at the shoulders where it's... Do the, do uh, the arms feel tight at all or it's really loose? You, you can move. Very stretchy. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's true. I wonder about the gentleman. Can we can we see the gentleman <laughs> standing up backwards to us? Because yes. Um, I All right, gentlemen, back up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a lineup. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Number one. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> if if you guys could now pretend to all be violinists so we can see what's going on. Yeah. So hold the violins. And and bow. There you go. If you can, you see the the trouble. And, yeah. Also move your arms, guys, so, so they can see. I mean, Gabby, I know there's a there's a practical. So that that's working very well because yeah. it's so it's so uncomfortable for us not to have any venting, but the aesthetic is it, there's a there's a clash there between. Yes, it's it's a bit tricky too because you see that on that one it works better. Yeah. You see, Bec there's a lot of stretch in this one. Well, this works for me better than than that. Yeah. But we had to try both, and then mm. of course, as you guys tell us. <laughs> We so are you saying the first one is the, the that one? Most if if it's comfortable, that aesthetically looks the the best. Yes, yeah. this one. I agree. Um, I agree. The gentleman's on the end here because it closes quite nicely. Is probably the next look. Um, yeah. Well, you know, just having it open when it's not sort of an action kind of looks. Yeah, I think. Oh, you'd be surprised how many people see the back because a lot yeah, of a lot of string players lean forward. Because we have audience there, you're right. I mean, you wouldn't see so much, but I think, I think more with the string players. I mean, we do lean. The chairs only go about halfway up our back, and then we lean forward generally. So I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, but maybe because because of this interest too, that sort of pulls your eye away from the vet. Right, right. But, but also, this is a good solution. This fabric is fantastic because it's a tailoring fabric, but it's stretch. See, it's like a real. Does it's he have double, that as well? Does he have that as well? No, that's just what for the. No, no, but we have it in another blazer. Ah, ah. So is your there's a look. There's here? another look that's not here. I'm not sure. How how is his? It's it's easy to. Where did you put insert material here? It stretches here and here all the way oh. in, and oh, all the way and, and all yeah, the that's way where you need in. It. Yeah, so okay. like uh, it's not just stretching here, the the whole thing is stretching. So that's why you can move a lot because. Because it's not only here. So the, he's moving and then the stretch is coming from all the way here, all Can the way here. you see that? Yeah. That's my favorite. Uh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's the cleanest, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's the cleanest. <laughs> and, and it's the easiest to make also. Yeah. That really? One, yeah. yeah. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> I think the buttons in the middle one and the back, it's beautiful. That way that that looks. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that looks look? beautiful. Yes. Yeah, you but don't see the buttons unless you're a very comfortable. Very comfortable, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I think that's, that's my favorite, too. Come on all the time because we lean against Any, the chair. Anything else you guys want to see, look at? I, another question for the men's. Are you guys okay with taking out the lapel, taking out the detail here? That's a genius. I mean, I can, yeah. can you guys turn? See, there's different fronts, and uh, I felt like this is, I mean, that's the cleanest. Yeah. Where we took this out, see, completely. Yeah. There's no and it, it does, right? just I just had a question, and velvet, our menswear team also were wondering if, if it is okay to do that. All, right in, all in all, his, his uh, tail coat is, is the best. It has the best lines. It has a little bit of interest. Um, it takes away enough material from the middle where the fiddle, where the instrument sits. So that's great because most of the time when we're standing on stage, we do this anyway. We yeah. try to get that away from our right. body a little bit so that uh -huh. this is clean. Um, so that looks great. It's got beautiful lines. Um, I like his waistcoat. I like that gentleman's waistcoat on the other end. Uh -huh. Combination of the two uh, might be ideal. I mean, his is a beautiful suit too. It's much straighter. You have to have a certain figure, I think, for that. Yeah, um, uh, perhaps larger people might prefer to have a little the, of that. Yeah. yeah, a little bit more open. Yeah, because 
There's something about the point here. See the, this point and that point? Yeah. That, it, that makes you more, more tailored. Mm -hmm. When it's so square like that, right. it makes you wider. Yeah. yeah. So it's automatic, you know, that's yeah. how it works. I, I think they're great. And getting away from the lapel, Gabby, is just wonderful. Yeah, yeah great just, work. That's just everybody. what we need. Really great. wonderful work. Thank you, everybody, Robin. so much. Happy to hear, guys. Thank you, guys.